Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. I'm Dr. Jamal, I'm here to make medicine make sense. Today we're gonna to talk about heart attacks in women and how they are different and how we as doctors identify them. I'm Dr. Jamal, if you like this medical content, please share and subscribe, it helps me build my channel. Let's dive in. Most of y'all, when you think of a heart attack, you're thinking of someone clutching their chest, they're in pain, they may or may not faint like they show in the movies or fall. But this isn't often what happens in practice. Yes, chest pain is a part of it, but the falling, the fainting, all that's just for dramatic effect. When it comes to heart disease, the actual process leading to the disease is the same in both men and women. And really your coronary arteries or the vessels that supply blood to the heart muscle itself become blocked slowly over time due to a number of factors, genetics, uh, personal factors, smoking, uh, diseases. But when it comes to the disease process, this happens over a long period of time. Women are traditionally diagnosed 10 years later than men. They're usually older when they're diagnosed. And it is often because of delayed diagnoses from a difference in symptoms and the way they present to physicians. So we're gonna talk about the difference. Well, the number one symptom of heart attacks in both men and women is chest pain. Patients will describe having a squeezing pressure-like sensation. They'll say things like they feel as someone is sitting on their chest or that you know someone is holding their rib cage and squeezing it. Very rarely have I heard patients describe a stabbing pain that often indicates another form of disease. Here's a critical difference though. For women, the chest pain from heart attacks can be triggered by non-traditional things such as stress, emotional or mental stress. It can occur with activity and it can occur with rest or with sleeping. This isn't very common and often this is very important when it comes to the workup of that chest pain and what disease it could present. Now, although chest pain is very common and it is the first symptom in both men and women, it's the women who are more likely to not present with chest pain compared to men when they are having a heart attack. What do I mean by this? Not every person will present with chest pain when they come into the ER to be evaluated, but they're having a heart attack. In both men and women, we found that there were other sorts of symptoms that indicated a heart attack, but they didn't have pain. However, the research shows that women are more likely to present without chest pain while having a heart attack compared to men. This is important because heart disease is the number one killer in women and missing a heart attack diagnosis in women can be catastrophic to that patient. And so if you think about it, on doctors, we're very attuned to trying to identify heart disease in women that present atypically. So what kinds of symptoms are we talking about? So think about jaw pain. Usually it's on the left side. Very rarely have I had patients complain of jaw pain on both sides. That may represent another disease process. But just because the jaw pain is on both sides, it doesn't mean that we're going to exclude a diagnosis of heart attack. I've had some people report left hand or shoulder pain. Um, I've had uh, women report left hand numbness or finger numbness or even cramping. Now these are patients that have not had any severe problems in the shoulder or in their hand or even in their jaw. They're chewing, they're functioning, they're working well, or if they have osteoarthritis, it's controlled. And then these symptoms develop acutely, suddenly, uh, with no apparent reason. And then a few times I've even had patients report extreme fatigue or shortness of breath that isn't explained by anything else. So what is the takeaway for you? Here's what you need to think about. Because doctors can miss a diagnosis of coronary heart disease in women, it's important that you speak up about your symptoms. Pain in the body is never normal. And if you're having pain, that needs to be brought to the attention of your physician. But then also know your risk factors. Know your family history. Do you have primary or what we call first degree relatives such as brothers, sisters, or parents that have had heart disease? How old were they when they had heart disease? How old were they when they had heart attacks? 
There are some genetic conditions that run in families that lead to early heart attacks. When I say early, I'm talking about heart attacks in men and women in their 30s and 40s. Although this is incredibly rare, I have seen it. And then know your personal risk. Are you smoking? Because you need to stop if you are. Smoking is a contributor to plaque buildup in the arteries of the heart and everywhere else. Smoking is plain bad. And then do you have diabetes or high cholesterol? Are you exercising 150 minutes per week, 30 minutes every weekday? All of these risk factors, knowing your family history, and knowing and identifying your symptoms and bringing them to the attention of the physician will help you. My job is to educate you on the nuances between the presenting symptoms between men and women. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up and subscribe. I'm here to make medicine make sense.